because Dave is too cowardly to swim in sewer water, I'm leaving Ocelots and welcome to part 3 of Let's Play Home. Or maybe Dave just can't swim at all. I really shouldn't be too hard on him. I mean, the dude's had a pretty rough night after all. Finding a corpse and... What is this? A kitchen knife covered in drawing blood. Thinking about it made me sick. I didn't even want to touch it. Did I take the knife? Um... No, I'm not going to take the knife. I mean, if Dave didn't take a handgun that clearly belonged to someone else, he's not going to touch a bloody knife that's been discarded. I mean, sure, I could just wash the blood off and it'd probably be fine. Well, that was unnecessarily rude. Do not interrupt me. Yeah, I could wash... As I was saying, I could wash the blood off, but that blood indicates the knife had clearly been used. I don't know what or who it had been used on, but I don't want to find out. Right now, my focus is to find a way to drain the water and get Dave the hell out of there. Okay, here's a valve. I thought I could turn this water valve to shut off its flow. Excellent. Now, excellent. Did I turn it? Of course I'm turning it. It's the only way to turn off the water flow. Hmm. This valve seems to be marked one. So, are there more valves like this? I'm going to keep checking over here. Oh, hey, a two. That means there are more valves. Let's see? Here we go. Just turn them all. Turn them all off. And then Dave can just have an easy stroll to home. That's right, nothing can possibly go wrong from here this way forward. Let's see how Come on, shut off already. Good, it's off. to wonder though how did that man in the in the house die I mean the game never indicated a cause of death was he killed by that knife or no 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 I'm not even thinking about this I'm not wondering how he died I'm definitely not going to go back to check I'm ignoring the knife all I'm doing is just climbing down this ladder and going home that's right. The safety poster had definitely seen better days. How old was that facility? The door was locked. I could see a faint light within. The faded paper was yellow and dusty, but there it had obviously been wiped off recently. Where had it obviously been wiped off recently? You know, no, you know what? Never mind. Never mind. I'm just finding the exit. Hopefully that locked door was not it. The exit should be around here. Is this it? Uh-oh, more blood. Not a good sign. Not a good sign. You see, this is why you should always remain focused and keep your eye on the prize. Because if you get distracted and go through too many doors, you find more corpses and... Is that a camera? Please tell me the camera is off. Or no, please tell me it was on and recorded whoever killed that guy. There's a security camera in the room. There must have been a way to see what happened. Maybe the VHS tape I found could be useful. Hmm, you know, it could explain why it was tossed out with the garbage. Couldn't help but wonder if someone was watching me from the other side. Please let no one be watching me from the other side, that would not work at all. I found another dead body, a sewer worker. He was a mess, but he looked like he'd been stabbed. Well, that explains the blood on the knife that I'm ignoring. I could see a key ring that had fallen out of his pocket. Did I take it? Ugh, I don't want to touch the corpse. 
but at the same time, one of those locked doors could contain either an exit or a valuable clue. You know what? Even though this is clearly going against my better judgment, I'm taking the keys. I worked up the nerve to snatch the key ring away and put it in my own pocket. Please tell me this move is not going to come back to bite me in the butt. Uh, what's this? There is a hint of fresh air here. I must have been near an exit. But I wondered, what did that key I found on the sewer worker do? And what was on the videotape I found? Okay, that ladder definitely looks like the way out if there's fresh air coming down from there. But I need to go back and check those locked doors, even though it's clearly not a wise move. This must have been the other end of that ventilation shaft. Whoever used it could have gotten past the flooded room with this. Of course, there is no indication as to how they got up there, but never mind. Clever. But why go through all the trouble? Why indeed, and who would go through all the trouble? I'm not sure which one is the most important question. Okay, this one's locked, right? I used the key ring to unlock the door. The shelf full of security tapes was strictly organized, though covered in dust. It looked like the tape I found was the one that was missing from the shelf. I wondered what was on the tape and why it was thrown out. Well, there's only one way to find out. There's a dusty VCR on the security desk. I wondered what was on that VHS tape I found. Did I play the tape? No, I'm just going to hold it in my pocket and just wonder for the rest of the night what's on the tape. Of course I'm playing it. Come on. Oh no. The video showed a man right there being sewers being attacked. The tape looked fuzzy and stretched like somebody had tampered with it. Clever, clever, whoever tossed it out. It looked like there could have been two men. Wait, two men on the video in general? Or two men attacking the sewer worker? I assume it was the sewer worker being attacked. I couldn't stand to watch that video again. As for right now, I'm just going to think it was one man attacking the sewer worker, and that explains the two people. Okay, there's one other locked door, though, that I want to check, so... Still ignoring the knife! I tried a bunch of the keys on the key ring I found on that sewer worker, and one of them sort of fit. Alright, here we go, and... What's that static? And why are there newspaper clippings everywhere? And why does that newspaper have killer... in really, really big font? wall was littered with dozens of old faded papers. Whoever did this was obsessed with some local murders. According to some of the clippings, bodies have been found in ravines, in the forest, and in one case, dumped in the back of an abandoned truck. I couldn't be sure, but I thought some of these same articles had also been pasted up back in those tunnels. But wait, was it the same guy posting up those newspaper clippings? And did that sewer worker find this room? Is that why he was killed? Why would the sewer worker be killed just because he find a found a bunch of... a room full of newspaper clippings? I mean, yeah, it's weird. But it's not the weirdest hobby that I've ever seen. I mean... <laughs> I don't even want to go into some of the weird hobbies I've encountered. A collection of stale liquor bottles covered the floor. The room didn't seem like much of a place for drinking. What was the point? Well, obviously the point of this room is to stick newspaper clippings on the wall. And what's this thing over here? A faded receipt was half trampled on the floor. It was from the local train station and was for two tickets. I didn't know what use it could be, but did I keep the receipt? Um... I don't really see the point of me taking this. I mean, it could just be yet another of the line of trash littering the room. I mean, yeah, it would be kind of weird for the game to give me the option of picking up the receipt, but I don't see what use it's going to have for me. 
chest. Right now, I unlock the doors, and I just want to get out of there. Now that I've checked, ah! that was rude. Don't you dare interrupt me while I'm talking, pipes. Don't you dare. Where was I? Seems kind of strange that in the basement of the dead man's house there were a whole lot of newspaper clippings. And yet down here in the sewers there's a room full of newspaper clippings. Were they the same guy posting the clippings in both rooms? Because if they were, I don't understand why. I mean, there's more than enough room in that basement to fill up with newspaper clippings of murders and death, if that's the sort of thing you're into. But I'm not going to ponder about that anymore, because here is my exit out of these sewers of torture and despair. The ascent was slow. My leg ached, but I felt a desperate need to escape thought of that videotape still gave me the chills. Who was it that didn't want to be seen? Well, the guy killing the sewer worker, obviously. Was it the same person that hid all those newspaper clippings away in that locked room? As I reached the top of the ladder, part of me hoped I would never know. I pushed aside my thoughts as I struggled with the latch above me, and as I swung up the cover to make my escape, I caught the scent of fresh pine trees. <sighs> Out of the sewers and I seem to be in some kind of forest. I really hope this is a park and not the middle of nowhere. I see you! I see you with your blinking green eyes! I don't know what you are, but I see you! Well, anyway, this looks like a good place to stop the video. As always, leave a like if you enjoyed it, comment if you want, subscribe if you want to see more. Well, I'll be making more videos regardless of if you subscribe or not, but subscriptions are always helpful and appreciated. And I will see you next time for part 4 of Let's Play Home. Assuming this blinking thing in the woods doesn't attack Dave. That'd be very, very anticlimactic if it did, and I hope it doesn't happen. But anyway, see you next time. Stop staring at me!